Maybe not tonight, huh? Under the uh, circumstances, maybe not tonight. It's been going down, or at least some of the rivers around here have been going down. So are my feet, as you can probably tell by the sight of this and the sound of them. And the treads on my boots have been wearing down. Yeah. It's uh, not particularly hygienic. These are willow trees, at a guess, due to the fact they're still alive despite being in a place that obviously floods. I'm guessing they're normally not under, under the river. As this is marked mooring for lock operation only, I'm guessing that there's a lock here. Also we have those marker boys saying, don't go this way, it's probably full of rocks or something. Oh, maybe that's the lock. That lockish looking thing right there. That makes more sense. And there's a weir there. Transport engineering of an earlier century, that. You build a weir, or what some people call a low head dam. Stupid leaf sticking to my boot. I just didn't consider it. Which backs the river up and gives you a nice, deep, and pretty much level river. Hello, puppy. On which you can operate boats. And then you create a canal with a lock so that you can get from above the weir down to the level of the mostly level river backed up by the next way down. It's a bit like one of those City of Heroes levels where you go across one level and then use the elevator to get to the next. Only it goes kind of swoosh rather than ding! Because it's not calling a flat earther an idiot. So it doesn't need to go ding. Believe it or not, there's a nice cafe somewhere just past this waste bin. There we go. One ancient piece of ironwork that does nothing. One um, kind of a hint of where the riverbank normally is. Right, there are kids, so now I can't turn to my right or I'll be taking pictures of people's children without permission. There we go, huh? You're up the canal into the sun. Isn't that romantic? There's one gate with the sun entirely the wrong place to make this easy. And here's the other, and the canal is. Possibly still in use, possibly out of use in these conditions. And this is actually how you move the gate. It's a great big lever. You have a path along here with things against which to push your feet. So you would open the sluice gates at one end of the lock to let water out of it and let the water level down. Drive your boat in, close the gates behind you, close those sluice gates, open the ones at the, in the upper gate to fill it so that your boat rises up, open the upper gate and drive out. Or vice versa. You make sure the lock's full, open the upper gate, drive in from the upstream end, close those sluice gates, open the sluice gates in the lower gate to empty the lock, well to lower the water level in the lock, you don't empty it, and drive, open the lower gates and drive your boat out. 
You know, I've been here before and I was visibly water coming out of the bottom of a sloping tube over there. Like it's a hydroelectric or something, I'm not quite sure what it really is. Apparently what it really is is German. We have trees standing in the river over there. And this is day three of dry weather. Oh look, swept grass. Yes, this is day three of dry weather. The, water, the grass here has been swept by the river that way because the water level has been this high. And it looks like the water level has been this high. A line of sticks washed up here. Caravan on the other side, that's, that's really great, isn't it? It's so romantic. Let's see whether I can finish on something kind of pretty. Yeah, I can finish on here's where you don't see stars in photographs taken on the moon. Because the moon's too bloody bright, that's why not. There we go. Look, moonlight on a canal at night. Isn't that pretty? The moon reflecting on the... Oh, right, it's sunlight. Ah, and down there, that church is new to eyes, in case anyone was wondering. Possibly currently Newton in ooze. 